guys welcome back to another video uh, right now is a super super hot day it's like 100 degrees outside in Southern California and we're gonna make our way down to D Sport Tech magazine the shop you guys have seen so many times uh, my buddy is out there sweating in the heat right now working on a Zevo 10 and there's a bunch of stuff that's changed on the car that I want to show you guys and then I also have to go uh, drop off some money to John Drainus at 5150 racing so that way I could finish uh, giving the rest of the money for my turbo kit which we're still waiting on a couple things so unfortunately i can't pick it up this week i was expecting to pick it up this week and then it looks like there was a small minor hiccup that's delaying me that but at least he has the money so once everything's here i can go and pick it up whatever day it lands on and we can go over all that the good thing is that all my neighbors who live there which you guys have seen in all my videos i get super pissed when i start this car should be at work today because it's monday so uh right now we're gonna start up the evo and make our way down there yo for those of you guys who don't live in southern california believe me when i say you ain't missing much because there's nothing but road work everywhere you go i don't know why Never have gas, you guys know the vibes. Dude, the heat out here, guys, is no joke, man. It's been crazy hot lately here in SoCal. So I stopped at the gas station, because as you guys know, I never have gas in this freaking car. It just burns so fuel like crazy, because we got the test pipe on with no tune. guys so we made it to D Sport after a very long drive got my buddy Asus's truck here got Mike's R35 got myself a lawn chair from Asus's truck because it's probably gonna be a long day the sun's beating on us he's got his own car show going on this thing's so clean I've always been a fan of like this color blue damn dog clean culture huh? we're at clean culture right now yeah <laughs> we're having our own little crummy Jeez. all right guys so as you can tell we've made it over with my buddy jesus's car uh if you guys can't tell already they're doing some fabrication uh the normal front crash beam that normally be here is removed because they're trying to fit this uh trying to fit this new csf radiator that just, they just got oh man this isn't bolted and wants to fall <laughs> like i was saying they're actually changing up this magnus intake manifold because right now it's a four injector and they actually ordered a brand new Magnus one. They're going eight injector because Asus wants to run C85, which is more oxygenated. It has more oxygen in it. And you can't get away with four injector unless you're 2600s, which this car was on 2000s before. So they're going eight injector. They're doing the new uh, radiator setup, uh, relocating or building their own custom crash beam, if you will. Now a lot of you guys are patiently waiting for this thing. What the update is with my boy Sam evil weight drag car as of right now it's in limp mode not like physically with the car but i'm just saying that the build is on pause so soon we'll get you guys an update with the eight second build this thing's gnarly man i love evo eights and nines From unicorn LEDs, you went to unicorn piping. <laughs> Tesla fabrication. Yeah. Bye. I got the boy Sam here doing his thing. What up? What's on the menu today? Uh, sweet tarts. <laughs> sweet tarts. tarts? <laughs> 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 it's an RB head going on. Uh, what is this? RB head. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the Tuesday. Tuesday. RB head going on a Tuesday. I think that would uh, Frankenstein? Mm -hmm. that'll, piss off the, that'll piss off the TJ people. I was like, that's blasphemy, dude. Huh? It's blasphemy. What do you mean? So y'all are hyped about the RB, right? But this is the oh. real power machine right here. Huh, Gianni? Oh, man. When it makes so much power, they got to split the motor in half. Oh. So all jokes aside, guys, this is actually a brand new Nissan RB26 block, which is crazy. I don't even know you can still get these brand new. I've been lollygagging in the machine shop, but... I'm gonna have this man explain more of what's going on 
in his quest for 1100 or sorry 550 gorilla thrust right yeah because <laughs> one one gorilla thrust is two horsepower so 1100 wheel horsepower uh what's going on with the car is that is that what we ended up saying one, what one gorilla thrust that's two two wheel horsepower it's two wheel horsepower yeah silver ba silverback's got more strength than the horse anyway um what what's going on with this thing i told them they're going eight injector and what else or talk yeah. about talk about this thing actually because i remember you explaining like why this radiator is so badass remember you tell me uh so we took out the mishimoto radiator i had the full size i believe this is a three-quarter size uh, csf core uh -huh. um cool part about this one is it's a triple pass so the coolant passes through it three different times from when it goes from one end goes in out in out in out to the other end so it's supposed to be uh better cooling for for the car it's a smaller radiator but um three passes it goes through for cooling so um should be a, supposed to be a lot better than than the full size well, i think it's single pass i think the full size are or dual pass i'm not too sure but it's smaller so it's going to save us a little bit of room a little bit of weight um so we took off the stock front uh core support we're actually building another one a tubular one so that way we can make our mounts for the radiator so the front one we're building should sit where the stock one is we should be able to bolt the hood latch to it we measured it out it's in a good spot we're gonna build uh, brackets for this so it holds the radiator um, like Josh said we're going eight injectors so I know I just got this Magnus intake manifold but um, well, I was talking to John and we're switching fuels we're going from Ignite we're using a C85 now um, so of course C85 um, has, is oxygenated so 2000s aren't enough to run it um, but Mike from D-Sport was telling us the testing he did uh, when you use C85 on 2000s it drops them down to about like 1400 cc injectors so it makes them smaller I guess if that makes sense yeah um, so we're doing eight injectors so two sets of 2000 cc injectors um, should be more than enough fuel for the car um, so we're changing that we are making a front support. So the radiator used, the intercooler used to bolt up to the uh, front core support through this. We're actually gonna get rid of these and I'm making, right now we're making a front bar that's gonna bolt up to uh, where the stock um, front crash bar was. We're just gonna use that same placement. We're gonna make a pipe and weld it so we can support the intercooler and then we can mount other stuff on it as well. So the front core support is gonna support the radiator and we're making our own, I guess you could say, crash bar. In the front to support the uh, it's not really a crash bar but another bar in the front to support the intercooler and then with that happening we're going to reroute the piping as well so this side used to run down through the bottom and go to the throttle body so what we're actually changing is this side is going to run through the bottom and it's going to go from the turbo to the intercooler and then this side that was going from the turbo to the intercooler it's actually going to go from intercooler to the throttle body so we're changing the piping up a little bit um that should give us more room to mount the ecu clean up the wiring that was a bird's nest right there in the corner uh fuel pressure regulator i used to have it mounted back there by the turbo we're actually gonna get the new rail and we're gonna mount the uh, regulator right here and just run the line across so that way it's away from the turbo you know right well, um, there was something that was uh welded right or something that you're not gonna have welded anymore remember you were telling me welded something with a v-band or weld Oh, the, for the throttle body? Yeah. Yeah, so for the throttle body, when I got my piping done, we didn't have the time. So there is an adapter that bolts up to here, and it is actually removable for the V-band. So we're actually going to cut this V-band off of the throttle body, and it's just going to be the throttle body with the adapter. Right, there so you go. So that way it doesn't, um, I forgot about that. So that way it doesn't, it's not welded on here. We don't know if this is causing us issues with the throttle body. We're just trying to eliminate um, any kind of potential issue that it might be. Right. So this is going to get cut off, it's going to get cleaned up, the adapter for the new piping. If you've been watching my videos for a minute, you'll know that my buddy Sam was trying to do the impossible, getting his car ready for Colorado. This is so cool, look. This is literally all the pictures in the magazine, because as you guys know, D-Sport is a tech magazine that does machine work and also tunes, well, they have a dyno here that 5150 uses, but dude, this is so cool. This is so rad. There we got our boy shining. 
And then this is some of the aftermath. In case you missed the two dyno videos, uh, definitely check them out. You know, I'll put links in the description down below if you guys want to see kind of everything that's in this magazine that actually happened. So I didn't manage to get a clip of it, but John actually tack welded this on. Oh, the shadow. Already on. So right now they got the plates that you guys saw earlier, or actually this one to be exact. If you look and see how this material is shinier than that, it's because it was uh, grinded down. Make sure there's a clean surface before John uh, tack welds that on. But it's coming together. I was really impressed with how Mike did these cuts. Like, see how it's kind of like a teardrop it looks like? He did that by hand with one of the machines and when he was done with it, it looked like it was like laser etched. How exact bolt pieces were, it was pretty insane. Got a Evo 10 that got dropped off for dyno day. I'm not gonna disclose the turbo because it's not my car, but as you guys can see, the Evo 10s are 5150 special. If you're a long-term subscriber, you'll know that I used to have a Subaru. Johnny, Sam's cousin, has one of the sickest DRZs. Look at that. You got T's on the car, turbo. Look, Johnny flexing. Flexing with the name brands. Mm -hmm. So John just took off in his Porsche, but this is the final product. <laughs> this is the final product. P hour. Not, not final, we still gotta weld some more stuff and then drill some more. But well, it's together. Yes. You don't gotta clamp the plate to your. No, it's welded. Yeah, it's welded together. Not bad for a few hours, and what'd you say, like 20 bucks? Yeah, it's, yeah, like 20, 30 bucks of material. It's not bad. We're gonna put it on Sam's car, actually. 20 bucks and some bad <laughs> <laughs> Not on my end, maybe your end. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> day and I was in my garage right now because I was going to show you guys a piece that I picked up for the Evo for my buddy Asus. Uh, something that he's helped me to provide me that's going to help finish up the build and I'm not even exaggerating I was being chased by a freaking wasp in my back in my garage right now. Like it wasn't even just like an ordinary wasp like homie was like a queen bee chasing me around trying to sting me in the neck and so I can't show you the part because I tried for like a good 15 minutes to get that thing out of there and I just pissed it off and homie was trying to send me to the gulag. And just to give you guys a crazy idea or a better idea of how crazy that wasp really was, it literally saw me through the windshield because that's the only window it's not tinted on the Evo and he literally was tapping the glass repetitively 
trying to get to me, which is insane. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this update, and uh, I'll show you guys the new parts and everything once I'm able to film my car and not get attacked by Mother Nature. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.